All right, guys, we're here with a prototype 2019 New Camp Cirrus Model 670. Uh, we're going to get a quick tour of the unit here. Along these roads we roam, we find adventure through traveling, camping, boondocking, and exploring. Look at that guys, a cassette toilet on this one. Like I said, this is still gonna be a prototype, so there still are gonna be things that change. Yeah. That's what's tough about this unit in particular. Okay. Um, but you're gonna have your two burner stove top, you're gonna have your exhaust uh, here, you're gonna have your three-way fridge in here. Um, your bathroom is kind of cutting edge. It's gonna kind of be hidden to keep it, make you feel more open when it's closed. But your cassette toilet and your shower are gonna be hidden behind the shower door. So if you want to use the restroom, go to the shower. All you gotta do is pull the door shut and you're good. And when, you, yeah. when you're not using it, you keep it open and this feels a lot more open inside. Or it's called infinity flooring. So it's very resilient, very waterproof, um, easy to clean, uh, low maintenance on it, really. Um, you're gonna have all cab catch cabinetry. Oh, it's gonna open up. So storage in this is obviously gonna be key, but it's gonna be ample um, throughout. You're gonna have your RV queen bed up top that sleeps north and south that a lot of people like, so you don't have to crawl over each other yep. um, to get in and out of your bed. Your Aldi system, which is gonna have your radiant floor heating system that's in our 320s, 400s, and all of our truck campers. Um, it's a great uh, heating system. So you have your ductwork throughout all of the uh, cabinetry. It's got kind of heat the trailer evenly. USB, 12 volt, well, 110 plugs up by your head, your phones, whatever you have at night. Um, you're gonna have your speakers. It's gonna have several different options on it uh, as far as power jacks, air conditioners, um, TVs, you kind of name it, ladders for the back, roof racks, stuff like that. When are you guys expecting to have the full production models out? Uh, they actually go into production next week. Wow. Um, but they probably won't hit dealers lots until probably mid-February. Okay, so that's fairly soon then. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Um, gonna have the Frawley Sleep System underneath that we have in a couple of our different uh, trailers and all of our all of our truck campers. That it's gonna be like a box springs uh, system. It's gonna give you a little bit more cushion while you're sleeping. Also gonna let the air get underneath the uh, mattress. To help kind of keep your body at the temperature you want it to be at. Yeah. So I noticed some, is this storage back behind that? Yeah, too? so you're gonna have your water pumps actually gonna be in here. You have a little bit of storage, so you're gonna have your uh, temperature control valve for your Aldi system. And this one, your Aldi system itself will be in this one. Your water pump, that'll be right there. So kind of all of your, the important uh, runnings of the systems will all be kind of hidden, mm -hmm. but it still be accessible, uh, which is gonna be something that's really nice as well. There's still going to be some things that are going to change for yeah. the most part. Yeah. Um, but all your windows are going to open minus the window over the bed. Fantastic. So you're going to have your two-way blinds on all of those. Uh, fantastic fan if you don't want an AC unit, so you still can get some air movement in here. Yeah. Yeah. Save some weight. Obviously, AC unit is going to add a lot of weight um, if you decide to have it on it. So. Okay. So that is an option mm -hmm. that you can get. Okay. Absolutely. That's great. Well, guys, you got the tour from the new camp rep here. From the manufacturer, uh, it's going to be out in February, and uh, they're actually going into production next week. So even for trailers, you guys know that you can pull, your tow rating is XYZ. Yep. So in truck cameras, it's payload or gross weight. Okay. So you know how much your truck weighs, you know how much you guys weigh, you know how much the camper weighs. That allows you to see if you are able to carry something this. like this. Right? Gotcha. So okay. how much cargo you can put in your truck itself. Okay, so it's payload that we're looking for. So it says 1786 to 2133. And that's depending on if you have a gas engine, if you have a crew cab, if you have four by four, if it's two wheel <laughs> drive. It's a, no, this is very educational. Yeah, and that's Thank what you. it's all going to depend on. Um, so obviously if you have a gas engine, extended yep. cab, uh, two wheel drive, you're going to have more payload because a diesel engine's heavier. A four by four is a transfer Heavy. case, makes it heavier. Um, crew cab, which you have the full back seat, makes it heavier because it's a bigger truck at that point. Mm -hmm. um, 